What's good everybody, it's Cut A Classic and today I wanna to talk about parallel compression and why I use it and how I use it and what I'm trying to achieve when I'm actually applying the techniques to my mixes. So a basic understanding for parallel compression, what it is, I'm taking a signal that I already have, I'm duplicating it, and on the duplication, I'm compressing the hell out of it. And then I'm taking that compressed signal and blending it back into the original signal. So let's just jump right into what, what I got going on. As you can see, I'm working with my drum bus right here. I'm gonna just play the drums by itself so you can kind of hear what they sound like. So cool, pretty decent, pretty solid drum mix, right? But what I wanna do, I wanna add some more depth to it. I wanna make them a little bit more heavy and I want them to hit a little harder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a sin that's going to duplicate that signal and then I can compress that signal and blend it back into the original. So I'll go here to my sins and I'll go down here to create track, new track, and I'll name this, let's call it drums Pecomp. Set that fader to zero. And I want that to be a pre-fader because if I decide to go and turn the original drum bus up or down, I don't want this pre-fader to be affected by it. After I do that, I'm going to come to my new, my now new duplicated signal and I'm going to add a compressor on it. And let's just go with something real basic like a CLA 76. Uh, it's pretty much already set. I got a very fast attack and a medium release. I'll mute the original signal and just play, just play the duplicated signal. See how squashed that is? I'm gonna bypass it. There's the life of it, but I'm, I'm trying to squash the life out of it just so it's super compressed. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it in slowly so you can kind of hear what it's doing. I'll probably go a little loud and then I'll bring it back down to try to find the sweet spot. So again, it's very subtle, but it adds just a little bit more depth to the drum bus. It adds just a little bit more weight to it. It makes the drums hit just a little bit harder. And a lot of times it's just adding little bitty things one at a time, not, not being too drastic that makes the difference in your mix. All right, so yeah, that's a basic concept on how I use parallel compression in my mixes. If you like these mixing techniques and tricks that I've been showing you, again, subscribe to the Castle Road Studios YouTube page.